welcome. My name is Russell Jones and we are going to continue setting up a Ubuntu system with common software for everyday development use. What is Docker? They say it with Docker you will develop faster and run anywhere. Well, if you are familiar with virtual machines, um, they are quite similar. With a, actually, I'm running a virtual machine right now. Um, if we look at the Windows Hyper-V Manager, I have a couple of Ubuntu instances. And the, things with, the thing with virtual machines is you have to carve up your system resources ahead of time um, before you can install and use your system. What I mean by that is if you have a look at a virtual machine settings, you will see things like processor. How many processors does this machine get? How much memory, uh, hard drive, etc. In the early days, these were all very hard limits you had to set. Uh, for example, you had to carve out 128 gigabytes or whatever for your system. Um, it's a bit more advanced lately, so you can set it dynamically where it will only take up as much space as it needs. Uh, such as in it will grow along with your system as you install software and generate log files and whatnot it will grow um, same with memory it looks like you can set some minimums and maximums um, how much weight the system has when it's pulling memory meaning this virtual machine may have priority when taking memory or processor or whatever resource from the host machine than another virtual machine running beside it. All right, enough I said about virtual machines. Back to this virtual machine. Now, a container is very similar, except it, you do not have to carve up system resources and assign them ahead of time. They, are, they have a very small footprint um, and they run just like a full system would. Um, there is some sort of module in the kernel that allows programs like Docker and other container servers, I guess you call them, I don't know, um, use that uh, module to, to work real smooth with the kernel. It's very nice anyhow. We will get it installed on the system. Um, you can't rely on well, I mean, you can rely on the packages in Ubuntu itself, but they tend to get out of date very quick. So we're going to go right to the source, which we already are at here. Developers. Maybe, maybe not. Let's just go with install. We're going to make sure we have the required packages already installed. Which we do. We'll run these commands. Which installs the G GPG key from Docker's official servers. And this just sets it up so apt or dpackage knows it's talking to a trusted server and will install its software. Here we will do the install. Look at that. I guess it ran. I ran the whole thing already. Silly me. Now, sudo apt update. Just gonna go with the latest. And to ensure it is installed and running, we will first let it download while I take a drink. <sighs> Coffee. Good stuff. Unpacking container die. Oh 
unpacking pigs don't know what that is looks interesting and here we go sudo docker run hello world it downloaded the hello world image which you will see over here hello world docker <coughs> once it pulled it it ran it and it says hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly to generate this message docker took the following steps the docker client contacted the docker daemon the docker daemon pulled the hello world image from the docker hub online the docker daemon created a new container from that image which runs the executable that produces the output you are currently reading basically a container will spin up run one process and if that process is finishes quickly then it shuts down if it is a long running process then it stays up and will continue to stay up until you tell it not to now the docker daemon streamed that output to the docker client which sent it to your terminal to try something more ambitious you can run an ubuntu container with docker run dash it ubuntu bash um, I'd show it you now, but that's about a gigabyte of download, I think. Um, so you're free to try it on your own. Until next time, I will show you how to work. Well, sorry. Next time, I will show you how to do some Dockerish stuff. Bye -bye.